we I have a, a simulation of an ecosystem. So the idea is that I have a few things in here. The first, everything just crashed, but that's fine. <laughs> um, the first are these plants. Um, if I point this at the world, then every couple of seconds it'll make a plant. And sort of the fun thing about the plants is that their image is described on this page and it's just getting taken from the corner. So if you put anything here, you can uh, change the look of the plants. You are welcome to draw a new plant if you would like. What is it? And then I can use that for the rest of the evening. Um, the plants get eaten by these turtles who move around. Eventually the turtles get hungry. They turn red. And once they turn red, um, they look out, they try and find the nearest food. If they can find food, then they eat it. If they don't find food in time, then they die. Uh, but if they survive for long enough, then we should be able to watch them produce offspring. So when there's enough food, the turtle population sort of slowly increases over time. And we can watch how that changes over time with some of these uh, sort of like uh, graphing tools. So I can point this side of, at the ecosystem. It'll count the number of turtles that there are. I can sort of swerve it around to count the amount of food in the system. And if I am looking at, let's say, the amount of food and turtles at the same time, I can flip this page over and graph those values over time. <laughs> You've seen this, right? No. Oh my gosh. It does so much more than this. I'm already impressed. I'm glad. You've already sold. Great. You want to invest? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, sometimes it does that, though. That's part of it. That is part of it. I like to. I think you're right. So the the idea would be that um, over time you can see the sort of cyclical behavior that you would expect to observe in a predator prey dynamic, where the food increases, which causes the population of turtles to increase. They eat all the food, all the turtles die, and then the cycle sort of starts again. And uh, if we wanted to try and watch that happen a little bit more quickly, we could try increasing the speed of the simulation. So what I have here is, is just a simple dial. Normally it would be on a turntable so it's easier to spin, but I'm gonna have to spin it by hand. Um, it just, by turning it around, you can change a value from, from zero to one. that's so cool. So I'm turning that down, and now it's measuring 0.5. And if I put this by the simulation, I can use it to speed up the speed. So this is about how fast things are moving now. That makes everything move faster so we can sort of like watch these behaviors unfold more quickly. So it is part of it. So right now we can see the turtle population is spiking up. And in red, the food population is spiking down. Or at least I, I think it should be. There we go. What are the sounds? So once the food drops, you can see that basically immediately after the turtle population drops. Um, 